That's done. Did that. Check. Talk to you later. Bye. Some is to keep people out. But some is to keep ideas in. You could make some quick cash by selling even a small portion of Nico's files. It looks like he just made himself a prime suspect, if you ask me. She's got that small-town girl act down, Pat. I guess I just can't tell who she really is. I knew he kept audio notes in his office. He had a player there. No clue how it works. A hunch. I have a hunch. If you keep screwing around in the lab, you'll either end up fired or dead. Stay out of the lab! What were you doing in the lab? I could have made more money elsewhere, but science is where the magic happens. The actual magic, not the tricks. Unfortunately, my skills were more useful on the business end, but I didn't let that stop me completely. I made science my business. As I grew up, the magic books slowly changed to science books. But, as much as I loved the theories and secrets, I didn't have the talent. I liked that there was an entirely different way of looking at things I thought I understood. Since I was a boy, I had a fascination with magic. Maybe one day I'll make you sit through one of my card tricks. I think he memorized them and, and then put them in a vault? Destroyed them? The guy had a crazy memory. Once he saw something, he'd never forget it. I knew he was quite the Tesla devotee, so I built a replica of the lab that once stood near here. And I sweetened the deal by wrangling some of Tesla's private papers. He said yes on the spot. I didn't offer him the most money. I offered him this lab. Everyone wanted to work with him. What is wrong with my staff? Could you get to the bottom of that, please? Thanks. Nancy, Nico was a good man. He never deserved this. Please, please close this case so I can get his work out where he wanted it. They would have had to start setting it up back when Nico was still alive. It's because Nico isn't alive to stop them. And here's the disturbing thing. It takes months and months to set up a sale. Put it this way. If they're trying to arrange something like that, they're up to no good. If they're trying to make a sale, double down on those two. What? But I'd catch you in the end. Wouldn't be worth it. I mean, not that you'd try to sneak any files out, but it bears mentioning, I guess. Yes, you noticed the security here. Do not tell him that. I don't know how he might react. It could be really ugly. Between you and me, if I didn't want him here to be investigated, I would have fired him immediately. I don't know if he did, but I don't doubt he could have. Watch yourself around him. Understand? Yes, I have no idea why. He's a head case. I don't know much about him. He was one of Nico's hires. I didn't think much of it at the time. But now, I don't know. She said that she wasn't afraid to hurt him if she had to. Could be. But that one's got a temper. I once heard her cursing Nico out like you wouldn't believe. I know it's a long shot, but I've heard good things. And... <sighs> I already tried the by-the-book way, and that got me nowhere. Everyone's defenses are up. You can pull off the undercover work without drawing too much suspicion. The crew has been questioned a lot, as you can imagine. Through a close friend. You've impressed a lot of people, Nancy. It's a bit overwhelming. Check in with Ellie for that Tesla coil demo. Well, I'm glad you were able to make it out. That could have been... bad. Ryan needs to keep me up on things like this. All of us need to be able to stay safe. You don't just... do that. I'm sure it was an accident. What are you talking about? What? Are you okay? I guess it's time to take a long look at everyone else. Keep an eye out. As we narrow in on the suspect, things might get a little dangerous. She always made the place a little more fun. The more I think of it, I'm glad it's not her. I just want this investigation over. I was so sure it was Ryan. I guess I was just blinded by how much I wanted to wrap things up. I don't know. I have to think. They'll reopen the case and everything will just stall out again. All of that evidence. I'm sure it was her. That can't be true. What? What do you mean? But that's what contracts are for. Yes, I would. That would be bad, but that's what contracts are for. I own the lab. I'm doing okay money-wise. The short answer is yes. The long answer is, it doesn't matter. 
You're smart to ask that question. No, because the work isn't Mason's to begin with. It's a little troubling that he views it that way. Smart kid. Don't know much about him. <laughs> Likely story. It'd be very convenient for her if you believe that. Do you have proof? This is your case. But don't let Ryan's buddy act fool you. She's not who she seems. They just don't have enough evidence to get a conviction. And confidentially, the police told me they're almost certain it's her. She made the part that malfunctioned and killed Nico. That's because she did. Some of the equipment can get unruly when the power supply isn't consistent. Don't worry about it, though. Take the time to get settled. Catch up on sleep. All right. Gotta run. Most of the time, Gray can get things back online in an hour. Occasionally, it takes a while, but rarely does it come close to the critical window. It's nothing to worry about. We've got backup on the big systems. Hello, Nancy. I forgot to tell you, we've been having a lot of outages lately, which might not be long. Follow up on that key card. Whoever you can pin that on is our killer. Let's play it close to the vest until we've got enough to wrap this case up. Good instincts, but let's not do that yet. If they reopen the investigation now, it'll be months before anything gets resolved. And that's if they solve the case. You did? I don't know if there was much outside of work for Nico. So, no. Decades. He was an amazing scientist. Years ahead of his time. Victor here. Hello? Nancy, hi. Hi, Nancy. Look, I wanted to apologize for how our last conversation ended. Message length exceeded. You have no more messages. Message two. You have two messages. First message. Don't touch that! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That is none of your business. Sounds bad. Then maybe you should stop wandering around. What? Yes. Take all you want. Then let me get to work. And now he's not around to protect him. Locked me out of my own network. Nico was the only reason that damaged tech troglodyte got the job. Gray. This is a lab, not your personal playground. Get back to the visitor's area. If you don't stay put on your own, I'll have to find someone to babysit you. Not a good time. You've caused enough trouble here. I'm sorry if I've been anything but crystal clear. I want you off this case. Completely. Snow clears, you leave. I leave, hire a professional next time. Killer gets found, killer goes to jail. Where did you even get this? No, I, d I don't even want to know. I'm going to need all of your passes and keys. It looks like your ride is going to be a little late. Get settled in the lounge and, please, don't touch anything. It wasn't exactly fair of me to ask you to take on such a large task. It's unfortunate that we couldn't be meeting under better circumstances. One, I asked you not to wander around. And two, on your way out, make sure Ryan knocks it off with those stupid machines of hers. You've done enough. You're not supposed to be wandering around. I told you to leave me alone. Very busy right now. And the reason you're back is... Hello, Nancy. Something you need? Nice job. You saved me some paperwork back there. Help me do right by Nico. He was a brilliant scientist and a good man. I've got to leave the office. If you need me, I'll be on my phone. Good luck. Stay safe. And please, she built the machine that killed him, and supposedly she'd threatened him. Start there. Ryan... The police really thought she might be behind Nico's murder. They just couldn't prove it. Approach the case how you want, but I think I know where you should start. All right. I'll have Ellie set up a demo for you. But that's it. The equipment in this lab is extremely dangerous. But full access to the lab? No. It's too dangerous. For the cover, say you're doing due diligence for a new investor. I'll back you up if anyone asks. You'll find all the information in Nico's desk drawer. The combination is 171943. Nancy, you made it. Good. You've reached Victor Lazard. Please leave a message at the tone. Nancy, we should have a talk. Come on. What are you doing? My dad says you're some hotshot researcher, so I imagine you can afford better. A little while back, she was even arrested. So you know what that says about a person. But that's not totally true. Most of the people she claims are guilty are totally innocent. She supposedly solves all her cases or whatever. Stay away from her. She is a mess and a half. I'm glad you asked. 
I was considering taking her on as a detective. What are your impressions of her? Oh, yeah. You're calling about Nancy or something? Deirdre, this is Victor. Your father gave me your number. Me too. She's a complete narcissist. She's grossly incompetent, she rushes to judgment, and no one really likes her. Spread the word. Great. I'm glad I called you. The ghost of Thornton Hall. It's up to me to save her from... Only to vanish without a trace. Jessalyn Thornton dared return, haunted the grounds of Thornton Hall. When the restless spirits of the past, abandoned years ago by a family who could no longer take the endless nights, it's a wicked place. Around here, they say, Stub, anywhere but here. If you're smart, you do the same. That footage must have been flagged. Whoever killed Nico knows what we just saw. This video was tampered with. Someone followed Nico into that lab and edited themselves out of the tape. I'm pulling this off the network before. There are breaks in the signature. It's true. Right there. And there. Let me get a closer look. Wait. I've heard that theoretically we could... He liked tracking the ebb and flow of the electrical current throughout the year. It meant something to him. This track is something Nico had me add, so the security video could also do double duty as a data set. It's my sweet ride! But it's not done yet. But I'm working on it. Later. Bye. Great. I'll start fixing it right now. Get me some Coco Mellows from Nico's office, and I'll have it working for you. Yeah, Nico's personal player. I meant to fix it earlier. The police knew. Anyway, some stupid award is small change compared to what happened. Here. This should do the trick. Well, sorta. It was self-defense! Fuzzy little freak ball had it coming. You know what? I need you to leave me alone right now. Go, please. Because I made it! I destroyed it. It's gone. No. Thank you. Working here, I forgot that phrase existed. I think I've got the plans here. Yep. Here you go. The circuit board is shot. You seem like you know what's up. I bet you could make a new one yourself. You'll find everything you need in the photo lab, as long as you promise to throw it into a fiery volcano once it's completed. That thing is the undisputed mayor of Nightmare Town. An abomination of technology. It's some creepy robotic cat that someone, I suspect Mason, is tormenting me by leaving all of its awful parts everywhere. I'll never be okay again. The labs are... Building... I have my tricks. And no, I'm not sharing. I... I lost my key. It happens. Sweet, tragic, delicious betrayal. They never see it coming, the dopes. Plus they're fun. And you can act out these little scenes with them and then eat them. Attached? Please. I less than three of them. They're bright and sugary, and sometimes a girl gets a little lonely surrounded by all these scientists. Ain't no thing. Then take. Take of my bears and be merry. Yes. Victor is a candy hoarder. Liberate his sugar stash and bring it to me. Oh, fine, you can have one. Fair warning, do not give him a name if you plan on losing or eating him later. Unless you're some sort of monster. But there is a wicked cold front coming in, and I am not getting snowed in without gummy bears. Not again. Never again. Normally, I'd say yes. Do not let him catch on. If he knows you're about to get the video out, he will kill you. Play it cool, Nancy. Ellie and I will gas up the snowmobiles and split up to double our chances of reaching help. Sorry, sorry, I'm just so happy we're gonna bust him. And also really scared he'll catch us and kill us all. I'm on a roller coaster right now. Or maybe it'll backfire and electrocute you. Take this, it'll help. Get the drive out, I'll work on what to do next. You need to find a way to make a Faraday cage. That should get the drive out without wiping it. Secret lab? Zapped? What? Did you call the police? What? I don't know. But I'll make sure the air stays on. Still, be careful out there. If someone locked you in, they weren't trying to kill you. The only one who knew about the air cycling off was me. I'm working on the vent system. No one was trying to kill you. The air was off. So the way I see it, there's a 66% chance it was one of them. This place is like a fortress. It had to be someone associated with the lab. I don't think he understood what he was doing to them. 
He's a big name with stable funding. They're just scraping by, and Ellie's got major debt. Rumor has it he would incorporate their work into his own without asking. He took it to an extreme. He didn't put a dollar value on his work or anyone else's. He believed that scientific breakthroughs belong to everybody. Technology should be shared freely. They both have their reasons to be angry at Nico. Why would that be there? Those two had a strange relationship. They fought constantly, not sure why. Don't underestimate him. You and me are terror twins. Oh, you know. His voice and general demeanor and his face and pretty much everything else about him. I'm a little scared of him. A little part of me thinks it's gray. Nico may have had some crazy, downright dangerous ideas, but he was a good man. His killer deserves to be punished, whoever it is. Okay, I 100% believe you. But if you were lying, you should know that I'd answer any question you have about anyone. I figured the questions you were asking were a little odd considering. I believe someone from this lab killed Nico. Anything you need from me, you got it. Look, I gotta ask you. You're not really here for a new investor. You're here to look into what happened to Nico, aren't you? Don't be sorry. It's the smartest course of action. They wouldn't say. It was like they were waiting for me to tell them why they thought I was guilty. Then it was over. The older one drove me home, told me they'd be back the second they could prove it was me. Made it hard to sleep at night. The questions kept coming faster and faster until I had a hard time remembering what was even true anymore. They dropped me in a room and asked me a hundred times if I killed Nico. Thanks. It was a bad night. Worst I ever had. It's not a night I like remembering. Yes, I was. You could use the snowmobiles, but those are for emergencies only. Or things I can write off as emergencies in order to ride them. Then we're stuck. Dear ears and general feelings of self-worth, I am so sorry for what's about to happen to you. Your sad friend, Ryan. Okay. Sure. <sighs> you got it. But Nancy, I also hate it, and I hate getting yelled at by Victor, so whatever you need to do, please do it quickly. Okay, I'll give you a minute, and then I'll let her rip. Victor? Hate, hate, hates it. Like, mega super hates it to infinity. If I leave this thing running for more than a second, he'll be yelling at me to turn it off. I know! Listen, I've got just the thing. I had to make sure he knew what he was working with. A warning. It means just what it says. He wanted me to build something that could kill him. I know what it says. It looks like a threat, but it really isn't. Yes? We lost one of science's brightest minds for a stupid reason I don't understand. That's all I can say. He didn't talk to most people. I think he liked me. Or at least trusted me. He talked to me. More than once. I know, you're right. Can you not say it like that, please? I couldn't tell you about it if I wanted to. Confidentiality. I build tools. They're not always used in a good way. I've done worse things for my job. Oh. Whoa! Wait! Back to the information. We're getting a new owner? I'm sorry. I'm an adult, and there's nothing funny about what you just said. I'm so sorry, but I have to ask why you're here. Why are you here? Because. He was brilliant. He could look at a blueprint and know the finished product's personality. And he had no one in the world looking after him. I didn't. I would never hurt anyone, especially not Nico. No, yes, but I didn't either. He said he was going to do it with or without me. I just figured that if I did what he wanted perfectly, it'd be better than if he got help from somebody else. You don't have to tell me that. I know. I knew. He told me that's what he wanted. It worked exactly as it was supposed to. Are you sure? I practiced. No, I, I get it. I'm Ryan. Good! I had a whole argument prepared about labs and the risks of working with machinery and the importance of forgiveness. Do you want me to hit all the bullet points? Not that that was super near death, but you know, closer than what you get walking through most doors. Good. I was really hoping you'd be the type not to freak out about something like that. Not that you shouldn't. It's reasonable to freak out after a near-death experience. 
This frowny face here is because this is the first time I've made a chart, and it turns out it's very boring. That is also why there is a dragon and a dog on the skateboard and other stuff. <laughs> this line represents my happiness and well-being over time. You may notice the steep decline. I've made a chart to illustrate my feelings on the situation. Just in case you were wondering, yes, Victor's yelling is starting to crush my soul a little bit. Ah! Did you hear? A snowstorm of gloriously epic proportions is bearing down on us. I might get to break out the snowmobile. Or we might get snowed in like last time. Great, she's back. What do you want? Well, that was quick. Yes? What's up? Hi. I'm so sorry about that. Are we cool? Nancy, please be careful. I just want to tell you that I've always... Nancy, ah, pick up, pick up, pick up. Uh, when you get this message, you should run as far as possible from where you are right now. Don't even look back. Your life is in danger. This is not a drill. Hang on, Frank wants to say something. Hey, Nancy, it's Joe Hardy of Joe and Frank Hardy. I'm calling about that whole security video ping thing. It, it turns out it was Victor. Also, I found out that you have since solved the case, so please disregard my earlier message, all right? Well, okay, goodbye. Remember, that other message is no longer relevant. You should probably just delete it. I saw a video of Gray going into the lab the night of the murder. Can you tell me a little bit about Ellie? Did you know about Nico's diaries? I had a hunch I needed to follow up on. I like that. What made you want to own a lab in the first place? Where are the papers? What made him decide to work with you? Nico must have been pretty special. Gray was shredding some documents. What? I thought it was strange, considering how they feel about each other. Ellie and Mason are working together. Yeah, seems pretty tight. Was Nico's work valuable? Do you think Gray could have killed Nico? Nico brought Gray on? Can you tell me anything about Gray? I met Ryan, and she really doesn't seem like she could hurt a fly. Why did you hire me and not a big investigation firm? How did you hear about me? I'm not sure where to start the investigation. Ryan said the air being off was a coincidence. The air was off. I think someone was trying to kill me. I am now, but I woke up in a photo lab and someone turned the oxygen off. I could have died. Someone knocked me out. I can understand that. Okay, what's my next move then? Deirdre's working on getting the photos over to the police now. Photos from her award ceremony prove she couldn't have made it to the lab in time. It's not possible. I found a way to prove that Ryan's innocent. It wasn't her. If Nico gave away his research, you'd be losing out on a lot of money. An amount of money that large doesn't matter? You stand to gain quite a bit of money when Nico's work goes out for sale, correct? Mason says Nico was stealing from him. Is this true? What do you think of Mason? I found a note, but she claimed it was a warning, not a threat. Did you know Ryan was threatening Nico? You seem pretty sure Ryan's the one who killed Nico. Critical window? Funny you mention that. I think you're having one right now. In Ellie and Mason's office. I think maybe we should take this to the police. I found the key card that opened the lab the night of Nico's murder. Did you spend any time together outside of work? How long have you worked together? Can you tell me a little bit about Nico? Who were you talking to just now? The elevator nearly killed me. Can I have some of your candy? Is something the matter? So what's your next step with the investigation? What's going to happen next? What's that you're building? I think there may be something weird about the security video from the night of the murder. Could you take a look at it with me? Here's the candy bar you wanted. Do you know how I can play a media card? From the candy machine? How exactly does that thing work? You were at an award ceremony the night Nico died. Why didn't you mention that? Thanks. I need a new key card. Can you help? Mason says he was tormenting you with a cat because you hid it. Is that true? Why destroy it? Are you sure? You sound like you're not telling me something. The part that was responsible for Nico's death is missing. Do you know where it went? Thanks. I need to rebuild the missing part from the large Tesla coil. Can you help me out? Do you know how I can get the little Tesla coil in the lab to work? I've seen one of those before. 
If I find all of the pieces, I bet I could put it together. What is that thing? What's happening? Are you okay? Why did you scream earlier? Are you okay? Isn't this place extremely well secured? You snuck in without logging in the day before the murder. Why? You seem pretty attached to gummy bears. Thanks. I got the candy you wanted. Is there anything I can do to convince you to give me some of your gummy bears? Can I have some gummy bears? What? This box might be just what I need to build a Faraday container. This might work. I I'll explain later. I just need a way to get the video out without getting it ruined. I couldn't. I had evidence, but it got zapped when I tried to take it out of Nico's secret lab. It was Victor. He killed Nico. I need your help, big time. Then what were they trying to do? How can you be so sure? Yeah, I had to crawl out the vent. I was locked in the photo lab. I think someone tried to kill me. Do you think either one of them could have killed Nico? That's noble. Reasons? Like what? I don't know yet. I found a card in Mason and Ellie's office that was used to get into the lab the night Nico died. Him? He's not scary at all. <sighs> Me too. Any reason in particular? Why? Who do you think killed Nico? Why are you being so helpful? No. Yes. You really are innocent. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Something. Do you have anything that can prove that you didn't kill him on purpose? I'm kind of wondering the same thing myself. I don't think you're telling me the full story. What evidence did they have? That must have been hard. I'm sorry it's unpleasant, but can you tell me what happened? I understand. No need to go into it. What happened? Victor mentioned you were arrested the night Nico died. Is there any way into town? What happens if a big storm hits? I'm sorry to ask again, but can you distract Victor for me? Can you distract Victor for me again? Perfect. That is awful! What is it? I need your help distracting Victor. Do you have anything to prove that's true? Then what? What else could it possibly be? It says right here. So you admit to threatening Nico. I found these notes in the lounge. Is this your handwriting? You still haven't told me about what happened that night. I'm not sure I understand. I'm sorry, I don't know if there is a better way to ask about something like this, but I do really need to know. What happened on the night of the murder? What do you mean by that? Like what? I know you've gotten enough of this, I really do, but... It's my job. Maybe, but first I need to ask some intrusive questions. I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here to do due diligence for a potential new owner. What do you do at the lab? Why? What made him special? But what? In the end, your machine is what killed him. I don't understand why he would want you to build something so deadly. Tesla coils are not supposed to be wired like the one you built for Nico. It's extremely dangerous. Can you tell me about what happened with the equipment you built for Nico? That's not necessary. It's okay. I'm fine. Um, yes. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. You look a little upset. You look a little upset. Why do you seem so nervous? I believe you. Someone attacked me. You were here the other night. Any word on the storm? Why were you in there? So, what exactly happened with you and the coil? I beat your high score again. Did you see? I beat your high score. Don't you think you should maybe stop? She seems to hate it. Have you been tormenting Ryan with a robot cat? Ryan said that Nico would talk to her. Does that seem true to you? It's in the log. Fine. It's the one that opened the lab the night Nico died. 
Ellie said this card wasn't hers. Is this your card? I know for a fact you were. What were you and Ellie doing spending time together? Is it? Whoa, hold on. Well, what did you tell them? Do you know why Ryan would want to hurt Nico? You said you were searching for Nico's work. Did you ever look in Nico's personal things? Why? I mean, to you. What brought you here? What's so special about Tesla? It seems strange to me that you could be so blasé about a murder. That can't be true. Do you like Ryan? And now? Anything else about Victor my boss might want to know? Other minds? So, how many are there? Like what? What do you know about Victor? Nanny cams? Some? And you don't know anything else about what happened that night? So, I take it the date didn't go well? Did the police follow up with her? Where were you? Who was here the night of the murder? That seems a little disrespectful, considering... Would you go as far as to say you hated Nico? Did you dislike Nico? It's not an expression I'm aware of. What else do you remember? You said one of us. Why? Why not say someone? I imagine. Did anything stick out? What do you remember about the day Nico died? You never know if you don't ask. I took an educated guess. What did you do that she dislikes you so much? What do you think of Ellie? Not. What are you doing? I'm sorry, I can't. Confidential. What was Nico working on before he died? What does that mean? Did he try to scare you away from Nico's work? Can you tell me a little bit about Gray? Sometimes. Who do you see on an average day? Why shouldn't she be? Do you have a peculiar answer? Did the police know your feelings about Nico? You must be pretty upset about that. You mentioned Nico stealing your work. Can you prove that? He just snoop in your files? That seems kind of annoying. So he'd come in here when you were gone? Did you work directly with Nico? No, that's correct. I'm here on behalf of a new potential owner. Who am I? That sounds like you're working on the wireless transmission of electricity to me. Put it in layman's terms. What are you working on? As unfair as that sounds, it's a security problem. I can't have anyone on this project overly motivated to make a quick sale. I think I may have to look into her finances. That type of question seems completely inappropriate and is very worrisome. She actually asked me what the entire process might sell for on the open market. Lately, Ellie has developed a peculiar interest in my latest work. They fly only where they're directed and never question the effect the beating of their wings will have on the skies and the world below. But to continue to hide the resources we have, to deprive those who need them? I see why Tesla liked his pigeons. Exotic and costly. Victor once warned me to take it easy with the announcement. The world economy is built on expensive energy. To flood the market could cause a collapse. There's electricity in everything, but we don't know how to see it because we perceive it to be scarce, always looking for exotic solutions. I find myself unable to trust anyone here, but I can't leave the work, not until it's announced. Quite the opposite. Everything has been going smoothly with the energy project. This, I fear, isn't paranoia. Paranoia has always come creeping into the back reaches of my mind when I stretch myself too far, but I've not been overextended. A sudden calmness to my enemies as of late, as if they're planning something. I've had to step up my own security. I can't be too careful now. The mood in the lab has been tense for a long time, but there has been a shift. The news of the announcement has gone far beyond what I wanted. I've lost control over it, and we're not ready. Gray has been helping me comb through all the unsuitable work. Friday. The hours have gone negative this week. I always like to think that's how Wardenclyffe came down. Not with a wrecking ball, but with one of his unassuming little boxes set to frequency 37. The resonant frequency of the building syncing up with the steady tap of his machine until the structure's myth of stability was exposed for what it was. A hopeful lie. When he attached the earthquake machine to his building, he didn't want to destroy it. It was about finding the perfect pattern. I don't think he understood the cost of destruction. To him, it was just the mechanics of the thing. That's no longer the case. He could brag about death rays or the earthquake machines he had, and the tyrants of the world wouldn't take notice. 
Tesla was lucky to live before the nuclear age took full flight. He never had to scrutinize his work and bend it to his will. Again, I'm viewing the schematics in my head, but now I have to think differently. I have to find the points in the design where someone could take advantage of the system. Last night, I hit 90% efficiency with the suboptimal setup. Thanks to Ryan's threats, I could not carry out the plan I had been hoping. Yet these results mean that it's time to announce. Which reminds me, the parts arrived today for the pigeon. 13, 6, 5, as expected. Should something happen to me, hopefully someone will figure out what that means. Ryan's getting more aggressive with her demands. I'm reluctant to send her packing, but I will if I must. My safety is my primary concern. It's Tuesday, 26 hours of work this week. Off to a running start. Doesn't make sense that I'm finding none. I'm finding myself spending more and more time down in my study in a state somewhere near sleep. Viewing the schematics in my mind, looking for flaws. Maybe it's time to replace him. He's been less of an asset than I expected anyway. I've made my message to him clear, yet he keeps going back to the rough materials application portion of the process. Perhaps it's time Gray tightens up the network to keep him in line. I checked in on Mason's work today. He has the strangest attraction to exactly the work I'd most like him to avoid. I'm starting to question if he knows what he's toying with. The math is solid, and the small-scale experiments are running at an efficiency of about 80%, and that's using the old design. I've got schematics drawn up for an entirely new prototype, but maybe that step isn't necessary. The coil as is, it's little more than a plaything. I can't get the proper flow using the original design. And then later she confronted me by the couch in the lounge and handed me another of her threats. I didn't bother taking it with me. I found another note from Ryan on my door this morning. This time a threat. She continues to surprise. She's smarter than she looks. It's Wednesday. I've clocked 49 hours of work this week. Security breach in Tesla Coil Lab. Warning. A uh, passing grade? Deirdre's decided to help me out. I still need a little help finding Nico's fingerprint. Can you help me with getting past a biometric scanner? Hmm, I'll take a look. I need to find one of Nico's fingerprints. Any advice on how to use one? Have you ever used a rapid prototyper? I know. I still need more. I think maybe. I found a letter that said Nico's work could be split up and sold in bits for huge amounts of money. I don't think he's crazy, anymore at least. And he stands to gain nothing, so I guess maybe I do. He says they had an agreement. If Nico ever died, Gray'd get rid of all the work that would have military applications only. Gray was destroying Nico's work. I really can't tell, but I'm going to assume that he knew someone was onto him. He implemented some sort of security. No clue what he meant, though. Completely. But he had a breakdown of sorts. Nico kept him close because he trusted him, and I think he felt a bit to blame for pushing Gray so hard. He was a scientist. He worked with Nico a long time ago. Gray isn't who I thought he was at all. Nico was sounding a little paranoid in his diaries. Got it. Hang on. I'm afraid he might. It was Victor. No, if I tell Victor, I'm pretty sure he'll fire me. Not supposed to be in the lab. You're not too far off. I found Nico's secret study. You don't have to tell me twice. Tell me about it. I'm a little snowed in. I was so close. But things got more complicated when he showed up. And there's something else. I guess I failed. I'm off the case. Victor's here. Gray was shredding something. What's that? Mason and Gray got into a fight. I couldn't tell exactly what it was about. Something about sneaking things out. Someone knocked me out and dumped me in the photo lab with the oxygen off. Gray going into the lab. If you guys keep working on it, I'll follow up on what I saw in the video. There's never a bad moment to have a George. Wish she wasn't always so busy. Any luck on the security video ping? Can you two look into that for me? The security video was doctored, but when I found that out, someone on the network was notified. Everyone else. Deirdre was actually helpful. Ryan's innocent. Victor took my key away. I won't be able to get into the lab anymore. I'm not sure what to do. I need help getting into the lab. They're working together in secret. Or was this the plan all along? Oh, I wish I knew. Could be. I thought so. Something weird is going on. Mason and Ellie are actually working together. 
They're on opposite shifts to avoid one another. Mason and Ellie seem to hate each other. Interesting. Any word on the background of the crew here? I met the whole crew. He doesn't seem like a people person. He's a little intimidating. I met Gray. I think she's hiding something. She's nice, a little quiet. I met Ellie. A little into his work, but not bad. Cold and detached. I met Mason. Yes. No. Some, but Victor really thinks she might be the one. She's the one who made the part that malfunctioned and killed Nico. Her. I met Ryan. I don't know all of the details exactly, but it seems like it. Like wireless energy. I didn't know you two were Tesla fans. Do you know much about Tesla coils? It was really impressive. They're definitely on the dangerous side. I just saw a really cool Tesla coil demo. I thought the same thing, trust me. But he thinks because of my age, no one will suspect I'm undercover. I hope he's right. The research was supposedly going to revolutionize the way power is created and delivered in this country. Well, the world, really. Victor wants the papers released before anyone else connects the dots. Apparently, Nico was very close to making his research public. Exactly. Well, that's the thing. The police hit a dead end, and Nico, the researcher who was killed, all of his papers were put into evidence. Victor, the lab owner, called me in to help solve a cold case. Okay, here's the full scoop. I'm pretty busy. I'll have to catch you up as I go. What are you doing on a submarine? Where are you? It might be. I was called in to solve a cold case murder. I want to catch you up on the case. Sciency. All right, I'm caught up on the case. I'm good. Actually, I have to go pick up my case file. I'll catch you up later. Oh, yeah? Is that so? Oh, yeah? Is that so? Why were you so concerned about what Mason was up to? Do you believe that? Police report. What I don't understand is why the police didn't follow up on it. The log says that one additional person entered the lab the night Nico died. Yes, but it got zapped coming out of Nico's lab. I think Victor killed Nico. If it's so important, what would have happened if you had both died? You can't be certain the technology would be abused. He trusted you to know the difference? Like weapons? Is that up to you to decide? Now, can you tell me what you were hiding earlier? Were you destroying something? What is it? Do you know why Mason and Ellie would be spending time together? I thought they hated each other. You seemed a little angry. What were you saying to Mason earlier? It didn't seem like nothing. What were you shredding? Why would that put him in danger? Did Nico's work put him in any danger? I'm sure it does. Try me. What's the real story between you and Nico? What do you mean, why? No one deserves that. Whoever did it should be locked up. Because someone killed Nico. I want to know who. Is there any reason you would have entered the lab right before Nico died? If that's true, you have a strange way of paying back the favor. You were threatening him in those emails. And something tells me you were leaking his work. Which means he kept you around because... Nico must have known about your qualifications, but he put you in security. Something doesn't add up about your position here. I get the sense Nico was protecting you. Why? Why? Was Nico interested in Tesla's work? I could have died in there. Do you have any idea what happened? Yes. Someone turned off the oxygen. I had to crawl out the vent. I got locked in the lab and almost died. You don't seem happy about that. Did you know Victor is here? I don't understand. Who are you looking for? What's missing? You mentioned re-watching the video. Do you think something is hidden there? Why? How many times have you watched the footage? And who? Who else? Who was here the night of the murder? I'm just very thorough. Okay, you got me. I'm gathering information for a potential new owner. What do you think of Ellie? What? What are they? Why not? 
What do you think of Mason? Do you want to explain why? In those emails you don't want to talk about, you threatened Nico. I'm sorry, I didn't know it was confidential. I found it. Answer my question. Can you explain these emails? Well, I didn't say there was. It just seems like you could do something more in line with your schooling. What's someone with a Ph.D. doing working in security? When was that? Fair enough. I'd still like to know. Yes? You and Nico were friends, weren't you? I don't buy that. Victor told me he was instrumental in getting you this job. What was your relationship with Nico? Do you think she tampered with the machine on purpose? Do you blame Ryan for what happened to Nico? Why? What do you think of Ryan? You're really not going to tell me how long you've worked here. Can you estimate? How long have you worked here? What do you do here? Eh, makes sense. That's a strange attitude for someone who works at a research facility. Why not? You're not a fan of the idea? But we've already met. In the lab? <sighs> Never mind. I'm Nancy. I'm here doing research for a new owner. Well, how does it work? Why was it wired that way? There must have been a reason, right? Is this the coil that was responsible for Nico's death? Is the hall just outside the lab supposed to hum? We need backup. Victor killed Nico. I have proof. I need your help. You and Mason were smuggling work out. And on the other hand, what did you think of Nico wanting to give away research you worked on? Just curious. Could you make money by selling your research on the open market? Oh, you could always just go back home. If you don't like the work, why are you still here? Watson? I know that feeling. Victor seems to think your heart's no longer in your work. Is there any truth to that? Are you happy at this job? It's in the log. This card I found, according to the record, it's the one that opened the lab the night Nico died. Mason said it isn't his either. Is this your card? What happened back there in the lab? Then why spend so much time together? Then you won't mind if I tell Victor what you're up to? You and Mason are working on a project together, something secret. Why were you spending time with Mason? I thought you two didn't get along. I also get the impression Mason doesn't like you very much. I get the impression that you two hate each other. You might be the only one who wouldn't. How bad are relations between you and Mason? What about your cell phone? According to the police report, Nico had been dead for 30 minutes before you called 911. What happened? You don't have much of a choice. I know, but my boss would really like to know. Can you walk me through what happened the night Nico died? Did they force you to come back? What made you decide to come back? Did you bring all of it back? Keep it safe? From whom? You're not supposed to do that. When you left, I understand you took all of your work with you. Are you sure you don't have another reason for wanting to leave? Why do you think that is? Why? Why not? You mean back to where you grew up? Where did you go? After Nico died, you left for a while. Whoa, what do you mean by that? Important enough to kill for? Did you think Nico's work was important? Did he say why? You never said why you hid some of Nico's work. So you were hiding them? What were you doing with Nico's things? Is there a way into the lab without a key card? Who else was here the night Nico died? Was Nico close to anyone in the office? Did he talk to anyone? Did Nico have a hard time with people? I beat Mason's high score. Actually, I already beat Mason's high score. Sorry, I was just a little curious. Do you know what Mason was doing with a coil? How so? 
You said Nico was too much of a scientist. What did you mean by that? He wasn't well liked. So you weren't friends. Did you know Nico well? Does that sound like something Nico would do? Why would she do that? Are you sure it was Ryan? You said the coil should never have been wired the way it was the night Nico died. Why not? Any other reason? Why do you and Mason work opposite schedules? Do you share the office? How long have you worked here? Can you tell me what you do at the lab? Yes. Actually, I'm checking the lab out for a new potential owner. Thanks for the demo. Any chance you could let me look around in the lab sometime? Ah! Hello? Anybody here? Huh? Mm. Ah! <gasps> mm. Did you find anything on Ryan? It only takes once. Why are you acting like such a sociopath? How is this great? I just saw the real security video. Victor killed Nico. I think he knows I figured it out. What? Victor's here. Yeah, it could. I need more. In the office, Mason and Ellie share. I found the key card that accessed the lab the night Nico was killed. I'll keep that in mind. I suppose that's what I get for calling you with this problem. Someone knocked me out and locked me in the photo lab. I don't know who to focus on now that Ryan's been cleared. Do you know any forensic techniques for dealing with shredded papers? Sorry, never heard of it. TDPD? Is that a... What is that? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were starting to enjoy working with me. Oh, Deirdre, you're amazing. She couldn't have made it back in time. You found pictures of Ryan, but what does that prove? What? How do you know? Really? Do you know how to fix a musical Tesla coil? What? Why? I got a text from Ryan. Did you give my number away? I asked her about the night of the murder. She was pretty much mute. I'm undercover here. I can't push too hard. Can you see what you can find on your end? Something's weird about this whole thing. So if her alibi stands up, it couldn't be her. You read up on the case, right? I don't understand why Ryan was under so much scrutiny but never sent to trial. I'm a little stuck on the case. Medium? Like what? Were you able to learn anything about biometric scanning? Okay. Whoa, no need to be crazy. Gotcha. But if you want help on your paper, can you look into biometric scanning for me? Then what, exactly? I don't think it's that easy. That's great advice. Thanks. Fingerprint. Any ideas? I need help getting past a biometric scanner. Yep. Ryan says the notes were taken out of context. Unless you're dying to see the inside of a body bag, I suggest you rethink your plans. Ryan was threatening Nico. I found one of her notes. But she just doesn't seem the type. Is that common in murder investigations? Ryan told me she was interviewed by the police and that she's still considered the prime suspect. Maybe. Do me a favor. No more references. That's honestly what you said? Such as... I'm not going to be angry. I really need to know. Verbatim. Which is... What exactly did you say to Victor when he called for a reference? Not yet. I found proof that the video was doctored. Do you have any idea how I can figure out what's really going on in the video? I just found another video. This time it shows Gray entering the lab right before Nico died. You seem pretty certain she's guilty. Ryan's been sneaking into the facility. I think she might be trying to avoid ending up in the security logs. Is there a way to know if I have the original? How can you tell if the video's been edited in some way? Have you heard of cases where the video has been faked? What do you know about surveillance video? I need you to check on 911 calls the night of the murder. Will do. That could come in handy. All right, it's a deal. How exactly can you help me? And you want to help me because... Why the sudden change of heart? Is that so? What do you want, Deirdre? No, but I know you're studying criminology and maybe someday I could help you out. Wait, hang on a sec. I might need some outside help with this case. That was very nice of you.
And you gave him a good reference? Yes. How did you know? Hi, Deirdre. What kind of question is that? So hot. Ugh. Got it. If I can't investigate everything, I might have a problem on my hands. Got it. I'll need full access to the lab and a cover. You couldn't tell me much earlier. What's the story? What? Where are you going? What just happened? I don't see any. There's no air flowing in. How do I get out? I'm locked in. Who are you? What just happened? What's going on? What were they arguing about? The cage won't last long against the coil. I'll need to find a way to get out without getting electrocuted. You got away with murder. Why not make a break for it? Why the elaborate plan? You knocked me out and then planted the key card. Victor, why are you doing this? Who could have turned that on? There, got it. What's that? I'm not lurking. I was going to ask you the same thing. Goodbye. Bye. I'll let you go. I'd better get going. Is this your motorcycle? Can't use that right now. Not the best time to use my phone. Can't use my phone now. If I want to mix another solution, I need to throw this old solution out first. Whoa, better follow up on this. This must be the unedited footage. Who's that? I need to figure out how to put this together before I mess around with it. Ryan wanted me to get candy from Victor. I <sighs> guess she must be tired of what's in here. These must be the notes Nico mentioned to play. Okay, it's transferred. Hello? What's someone with a PhD doing working in security? Oh no, it's locked. Hmm. 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 I need a blank key card first. I'd better measure this first. Can't leave the card behind. This was not what I expected when I set the alarm. I think that's right. Looks like it's powered off. All right, I just might be able to get this through the door safely. This must be the schematic for the circuit. I bet Ryan's electrical components will help here. I need to find another key. Whoa! Strange. What's Ellie up to with this? That must be where the switch goes. It looks like something is missing. I don't need to do this. It's already keyed. This might be important evidence. I can't alter it. That number is from the night of the murder. It doesn't appear anywhere else in the logs. I'd better not do that while the coil is running. Time to replace the capacitors like Ryan's note in the book described. I'd better read up on the case first. I need to read the case file first. Can't leave yet. I need to find a way to get that lightning rod working. That doesn't sound good. Ellie might want to know about this. Must have gotten zapped by Nico's security system. This must be the key to one of Nico's passwords. What's that? I need to transfer the video to this drive before I unplug it. I should leave it in the USB port until I can figure out how to get past Nico's security door. Nothing. The electromagnetic pulse from the door must have destroyed the USB drive. What was that? Oh, shoot, I'm going to need to try something else. This was the card that opened the lab the night of the murder. These must be the key cards used to access the lab. I should figure out which number belongs to whom. It's stuck. I can't do this with Victor here. I can't do this while Victor's here. I need to find a way to fix this. He's out cold. I should find help. Gray, wake up! Oh no, I'd better get help. Are you okay? What's he doing in there? I need to find some foil first. I must have seen some earlier. Ah, come on! Ow, my toe! Okay, what's that? Ooh, a clue! No, wait, that's just a sink. My name is Nancy, I'm a detective, and I really hope this bathroom is soundproofed. Yeah! Woo! I bet this scene won't make it into the book. Four stars. Would visit again. B.S. has B.O.? Hey, how did that end up in here, too? Time to solve the case of the missing toilet paper. <clears throat> a little privacy, please? Way too many pictures of Tesla in here.
I don't think it's time for that yet. This box should keep the drive safe. I need to find a way to play this. I need to figure out whose card this is. These could be useful. I need to get this to add up correctly. I need to rebuild Ryan's part. Whoa, Ryan should never have been released. Better follow up on this. I thought they hated each other. What's going on here? I don't need another board right now. I've already got one. Well, it did seem like a good idea. That definitely wasn't the right etching solution. That etching solution didn't work. Looks like that was the wrong etching solution to use. All done. Now it's time to etch the design. I need to connect all of the circuits. It's pretty hot in here. I'd better find my way out as quickly as possible. Hi. Hello. Anyone? Is there anyone there? Hello. It's too soon for that. I can't do that yet. I need to close the box first. Time to make a portable Faraday cage. Hope this works. Play every fifth letter above on the coil. Okay, I'll give that a try. What was Nico working on? Is this some sort of code? I don't want to do that right now. I can't sleep now. Can't do that right now. <gasps> Who's there? I'd better see what that alarm is about first. I need to figure out what was on this page before Gray shredded it. Got it. Now to find a way to take this with me. One bear's not going to be enough. I need to make a fingerprint mold first. I need to find something to melt these in. What was put into safekeeping? I'd better look into that. I need to find the power knob before I can use it. The kill switch for the Tesla coil. Why does Gray have it? This looks like part of the coil. What's it doing here? A black light. This might be what Nico was talking about. This could help getting into the lab. Can't put that on yet. I need to build the frame from paws up. I'm still missing parts. I need to find them first. Sorry, Ryan, but I need to commandeer these bears. Ryan promised to give me some if I helped her. I should wait. What was Nico up to with a pigeon? Got it. I need to find a way to get this evidence out. Oh, no. Nico's security, of course. I bet all of my electronics just got fried. Just Nico. Hmm. Gray? Is this the unedited tape? If it is... Wait, what's that code in the corner? It's too full. Can't fit any more in there. That's not a good idea. It'd be a bad idea to mix those together. I guess this one doesn't work. This must be what Nico was talking about in his diary. I don't need to do this right now. Hmm, it looks like a memory lock. Great, just what Ryan wanted. Ryan asked for Coco Mallows. This must be the drawer where Victor put the case file. That might be Nico's fingerprint on that model. The control plate Ryan gave me should help with this. It looks like it's missing the opening mechanism. Got it. This should give me a chance to escape. I need to get this working before it's too late. Wait, why isn't it working? All right! Mm, it looks like some capacitors are missing. There must be spares somewhere. I have the clues I need. Time to figure out the correct sequence. I need to find something that'll help figure out the code. This has to lead to whatever Nico was hiding. This must be the building Nico mentioned. Victor! He must have killed Nico. I need to make something to get this safely through the door. I need to transfer the evidence to a drive before Victor can destroy it. A biometric fingerprint scanner. This could be a challenge. Gray's shredded notes seem to mention this was important. I need a car to get in the lab. She's bypassing the security system. Interesting. I need to get all of the numbers shown clockwise on the wheel using their binary code. It could be binary. I bet there's something here that could help me decode this. I bet I could tape this back together. Can't do this now. Could this have been used to keep the power on? I need to keep this together with any other evidence I find. What's this? Something must be broken. I need to find the correct frequency. It's already full. No way. That is a bad idea. This looks dangerous. I should make sure I know what I'm doing before I start. I need to find a way to turn off all of the power. The red must mean it's locked. I bet if I turn everything blue, it'll open. 
Oops, guess I'll have to try again. Hmm, looks like I'll have to try it again. That doesn't look right. Phew, good. I need to replace all of these gears before the brakes give out. See you later. Goodbye. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Someone moved my things. Someone will pay. Shouldn't I be if someone's attacking people? Why wouldn't you? You think it's me? It wasn't, okay? So what if I was? It's gonna be bad. I'd get out of here before we get snowed in. I know I'm going to. You saved my life? I thank you. That's it. Conversation over. I, um, miscalculated. Yes, yes, you're great. Go away. Ah. Uh, yes. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight. Sun Tzu compels me to take you down. Prepare yourself, opponent. She's the one who hit it, so I don't even feel a little bad. Hmm, no, I will not stop. I asked her nicely to build it for me. I even offered to pay her for her time. I'd never do something that hilarious and definitely deserved. Never. Not ever. <laughs> no. The two of them hanging out? Hmm, can't picture it. That was just a glitch. The video shows just one person entering the lab. That can't be right. That's fascinating. Tell me more facts about the card. Mine has my name on it. Let me get back to work. For a fact? Well, I know for a fact. You're wrong. We weren't. Ryan is all over the place. For her, it's A to Zucchini. To that thing from TV, to maybe C, then on to some non sequitur. I don't trust anyone I can't explain. Yes, that's because I think logically. I force myself to think from A to B to C, and so on. It's just a for instance. I said if I were to have killed Nico, it'd be because he stole my work. The police already asked the same thing. Of course I looked. I always suspected Nico had some squirreled away, and I'd be able to find it. But either he didn't, or I couldn't. What matters is, there's a little bit still here. Could be he was designing weapons. Could be he had a breakthrough that threatened the energy magnates. Don't know. It's all been hidden. Most people don't know this, but the majority of Tesla's work was confiscated by the FBI. I turned down Los Alamos in a tenure-track position to be here. The work. If you have to ask that, you haven't done your research. But if you are desperate to watch someone cry, Ellie's always available. I deal with things on my own time. Other people. Observe, and I'll demonstrate. Let me save you some time. I don't like anyone. Uh, hmm. He's bald, but not sensitive about it. He's one of the good ones. Now it's just me. Nico wasn't the only one working on energy capture. It's not just about getting there anymore. It's about getting there first. We were going to get there first. A good problem is like a fight to the death with your own mind. Or other minds. But that's all I remember about Victor. He drops in now and again, brings snacks. The answers to those questions are never important. It's how you grapple with the problem. Like, how many bike tires are there in the world? Not much. He was here when I interviewed. Ask some tough questions. Security cams. Gray's eye in the sky. But if he saw something, he isn't saying anything. I'm sure he has his reasons. Nope. The police did all that work, though. Check the nanny cams, too. So far, all. But I only need one perfect or near-perfect match to validate the entire system. Some women find this to be a bit much. I have so little patience for the dating scene. I prefer to get right to the important compatibility questions. Kids, when, how many, gender preference, favorite foods and vacation spots. Yes, proving that she does, in fact, pick up her phone on occasion. Out on a date? Not me. So, you know, no follow-ups. The world would be much better off if he'd lived to share more of his intellect. But I selfishly am glad I'll never have to deal with him again. Lots of jerks have died, and he's one of them. He's a dead, brilliant, jerk madman. Does it? Am I supposed to pretend he's great now that he's dead? I would go that far, and further. That guy was a jerk. Very much so. I remember Ryan. They took her out in cuffs. She came back the next day. 
never said a word about what happened. Don't be contrarian. It doesn't suit you. It's just an expression. Yes, the police. It was weird. One of us killed Nico, and here they were, talking about a basketball game, like it was any other day. More than I care to. Don't accuse, you mean. And honestly, I've got no clue. I did too. Still couldn't figure it out. But the fact remains, we are not besties, as she likes to say. We are worsties. Why do you assume it was me? Come to think of it, she hates me so much I should actually feel a sense of accomplishment, which I now do. There it is. She hates me so much that she switched to the night shift. Ah, efficiency, one of the rare graces of a post-manner society. I want you to tell me what you know, but I can't tell if you're a pushover or not. That was helpful for you. So how about you tell me something about your boss? There wasn't a name for it yet, officially. It was basically wireless energy transfer. Trust me, if he's still here, he's up to something. Your boss would be smart to get rid of him. He was Nico's heavy. I figured he'd leave once the police gave the all clear. He tried to scare me away from my own work. No, the only person who ever liked Gray was Nico. And I think he just liked keeping Gray around to scare everyone away from his work. He always gives me an industrial-sized portion of the creeps. Good answer. The world needs more people with questions, and fewer people who are sure they have the answers. Just me. Sometimes Ryan. You ask a lot of questions. Ever thought of being a scientist? In this case, the smoking gun is a miswired Tesla coil that she built. A more interesting question is how is Ryan still a free woman? I do, in fact, have a peculiar answer. I actually told the police the truth. What a peculiar question. Say what you really want to say. No, not kind of, entirely. It's unethical, and it allowed him to steal. No, he'd use the network. He practically lived in the lab. If he wanted to look at my work, he'd just root around in my hard drive. No one worked with Nico. We barely spoke to each other. That's the way he liked it. No, I mean wrong answer for me. Not the answer I wanted to hear. Wrong. Please let the answer be something that justifies me kicking you out of my workspace. If you want to put too fine a point on it, go ahead, stranger. Which brings me to my next point. Without accidentally making everyone die. Fine. There's this shiny magic that lives in the power lines. And it's dangerous and sly like a fox. And I'm using math to trick it into leaving the power lines. It's immensely complicated. Get a postgrad in advanced math and electrical engineering, then I'll explain it to you. Oh, you again. What now? No offense, I can't work when you're hovering. Back already? If you'd like, I could draw you a conversational exit map. Hey. Yes? If it looks like I'm busy, that means I'm busy. Are you crazy? This is mine! Leave me alone! And I said back off! Hey, let go! Back off, old man. <laughs> Look, maybe we can keep this between ourselves, okay? No clue. Thank you. I appreciate that. Someone's activated the machine. You have to shut it all down. Please, hurry! Wait, wait, stop. This might come as a shock, but no one wants you lurking around here. Why don't you just leave me to my work? What are you doing here? Ah, oh, lucky. I wonder who her teacher is. I foiled three art heists, and did that help my art history grade? No. No, it did not. Rescue a stolen Vermeer, yet you still get a C. Like a bank vault, or a cabinet. Probably a cabinet. No, we're awful at those. Don't tell the other adventurers, though. Hmm. Maybe there's some place the police missed. Impatiently. You mean a 3D printer? We'll see if we can find anything out on our end. Then that means... What? Stop him! Did you have his name wrong all this time? Embarrassing. That is epic standing. What's it like? Probably, like, full of amazing wonders and robots that do your bidding. I'm just guessing. That's a nice change of pace for me. What? Really? Why? Oh, you know you have to look into that. Shredded documents are the best. They're the perfect blend of puzzles and sticking your nose into someone else's business. Sorry, Nancy. Also, this is awesome! When we surface, I'm ordering you a helmet! We're going into a dive! What? The more you correct me, the more I shall rebel!
Into the lab lab? The night of the murder? This investigation is giving me a serious case of the confusions. What was that? Not yet. It's pretty well encrypted. You got it. I'll call you the second I know. Who else would set that up, but... So what's next? One down. Maybe Ryan can help. There's got to be something in the building to help. A key card, maybe? Oh, maybe you could find a way to program your own. Don't they hate each other? On a scale of one to standoff? Funny thing you ask. Yeah, sort of. Now the work begins. As person people, Frank and I disapprove. Keep an eye on him. You're not the type to be intimidated, so that must really be saying something. Then she must be. I mean, when are you wrong about this stuff? Isn't that what the neighbors always say on the news after someone goes berserk? She seemed so quiet. The verdict? Could be busy. That's a reassuring pair of personality traits. Well, that's something. Although the nice ones, they can be big trouble. Does she seem like a cold-blooded killer? So what's her story? Okay, hang on. Adjusting mental image, removing mustache, change haircut and shoes, done. Wait, adding hat. Okay, done for real. So what's his story? Amazing! I will not have you in boring Tesla, Frank. He was one of the few scientists who truly valued crazy giant lightning storms. When he was bored, he and Mark Twain would take turns electrocuting themselves. I mean, come on! He carried around an earthquake machine and built death rays! Are the most boring things to talk about when it comes to Tesla, Frank. Tesla was like a real-life wizard. I'll allow that. Are you kidding? I'm the biggest Nikola Tesla fan in the world. I think. Not really. Well... They can be if they're wired up wrong, but overall they're pretty safe. You just said the one thing that could make me wish I wasn't on a submarine. Oh, undercover. That makes sense. Cool. I'm sorry, Nancy. I didn't mean it that way. It just seems like a really big job. If it's such a big deal, how come he didn't go to some big private eye or something? What makes the paper so important? But fingers crossed. Not gonna lie, Nancy. It's some pretty sweet stuff. Crime syndicates, pirate treasure, and there's some talk of pirate ghosts. But no confirmations as of yet. We're on a submarine. Well, currently it's a boat, but intermittently it's a submarine. Whoa, a murder! I am flabber-worried! Frank, it's a language, not a museum. Tear down the velvet rope standing in the way of your word imagination. Give us the deets. Awesome! Nancy, Frank was just talking about you. Later. See ya! You've called Joe and Frank Hardy. If you're getting this message, then the submarine we're on is currently underwater. We need to get the system shut down before the grid goes critical. Get all those switches powered off. I'll do the rest. Yeah, you better run. I don't want to see you here screwing around after hours. I said, what are you doing here? And while I'm at it, what's in the bag? What are you doing here? Get out. I'm Gray. I don't care who you are. Don't tell me. If the grid had gone critical, we'd all be dead right now. Nice work. Now get out. Get out of there. No chit-chat. Come. Now. You. Come with me. What are you doing? Get out. Yeah, yeah. Bye. He was messing with tech he didn't understand. I had to make sure he didn't do anything stupid. What's it matter what I believe? It only matters what they believe. They did. Said it was a glitch. I know. The question is, how do you know? Be fast. I'll take care of Victor. Find a way to get it and keep it safe. You have proof? There was a contingency we considered, and thankfully did not have to enact. You're right, but history has taught me it's not worth the risk. If I don't finish here, Nico's work might end up doing a lot more harm than good. And only me. Nico couldn't censor himself, but he didn't want to be another Nobel or Oppenheimer. He made me promise if anything ever happened to him, I'd destroy everything that people would abuse. Discoveries with potential military application. Science isn't moral or amoral. It just is. To get to where he needed to go, Nico discovered some things that are very dangerous. Yes, knowledge this world can't have. I have a theory. I was. Nothing you need to worry about. Leave it alone. Nothing. People who want power will not hesitate to get what they want. Yes, energy is power. Ultimate power. Couldn't in the end. From that day, Nico had my back, and when things got dangerous for him, I tried to watch his. That headspace, I got caught there. I couldn't function. You think it does, but it doesn't. We aren't even here. We're a 3D holographic projection of a fixed point of high-density information located far off in what we think of as deep space. 
The way we think about everything is completely wrong. Even time is an illusion. It's nothing. It, it doesn't exist. You wouldn't understand. They said I was a burnout. It was worse than that. I woke up one day and the floor wasn't there. We took off together, but the higher we rose in our studies, he got stronger. He wasn't a scrawny kid anymore. And me, he was just a scrawny kid with bad acne and a lisp who begged me to help him figure out his constants. I was the smart one between the two of us. Or worse. Why? No. Enough. No more questions. Why won't you leave it alone? That's not true. Whoever your source is, they're wrong. Because he felt bad for me. Fine. Let my friend take care of me. Happy? Leave it. Couldn't read his mind then. Still can't now. And useless at everything else. And they both could tolerate pigeons to a startling degree. They were both fluent in things most of us will never understand. Tesla. I think you would have liked Nico. Obsessed. This is a lab. It's not to be taken lightly. Forget that and you will end up dead. Hmm, nope. Hmm, smart. Most wouldn't have thought of that. That's so? I'm not. No follow-ups. Yes. Nico's killer. It's not a what, it's a who. Not hidden. Missing. It's my job. Don't know. Lots. Nico walks in that door alone. Every time I watch the tape. No one else. Computers say someone, but the cameras say, Ellie, and I was. Then leave me alone. Thoroughly alone. Great. Don't care. Keep the question count low and we'll get along. Your questions say different. Say you're lying. What'd you say all these questions were for again? I have no idea. Not for lack of trying. No, actually, I hate him because he's up to something. Secret. I've got my reasons. Don't like him. Mmm, nope. Yep, it is. And it's staying that way. Mmm, don't want to. Can you explain what you're doing with confidential information? Depends. I like what I do. No one respects real work anymore. There's nothing wrong with what I do. Back when he was alive. Now beat it. Give me some empty space to stare through. There was a time when we were friends. Fine. Then just give me a break. All right, champ? I guess that doesn't matter now, does it? Friends? Could be true. Strange world. Crazier things. I knew him. Same as anyone else here. Am I supposed to feel better if it's an accident? Yes. You're smart. Carry the sums. You'll get it. Hater. So it would seem. Mmm, nah. Don't know. Job description says security agent. Suppose it's more valid than not. Don't answer. I don't actually care. Was that sarcasm? <laughs> Might be. Not a fan of most ideas. Nope. Just what this place needs. That coil is deadly. Mess with that again, I'll be the least of your worries. Don't you got something better to do? Say your piece, then leave me in mine. What else now? Again? What? What do you want? Yeah, what? Don't know you. Who let you in? I hope no one eats us. What a great day to be a gummy bear. Gummy Bear Theater presents The Tragic End of Two Gummy Bears. Yes! You're amazing! I can't believe you're just coming up with this stuff. Am I doing it? Um, name, um, Red Gummy Bear? Occupation, Gummy Bear. I need a name and an occupation. You, there. Gummy Bear Theater presents Improv. It's too meta! I'm just a gummy bear! I have enough trouble with simple concepts! I'm blue! Ah! <laughs> How does Ryan know the title of the game? Gummy Bear Theater presents The Deadly Device. It's saddest for me because I'm cherry. Oh yeah, that. Me too. I, I forgot what happens in this play. Gummy Bear Theater presents... The Cherry Orchard. Because video games haven't been invented yet and I'm bored. I will never regret this. Why? Another person on the road. This will not stand. Let us fight to the death. Gummy Bear Theater presents Oedipus the King. Starring Bear 1 and Bear 2. But soft. What light through yonder window breaks, it is the east, 
And Juliet is a gummy bear. Gummy Bear Theatre presents Romeo and Juliet, starring Bear One and Bear Two. Hey, Nancy. Hi. Hi. What's in it for her? Look for something that's been closed or locked for a long time. A fingerprint could have survived in there. Joe's right. As much as it pains me to say, maybe Deirdre's your best bet right now. Yeah, maybe somewhere they felt they didn't have to explore. Does that make sense? That's just you. Sure. It's all about following the steps. You've got to make the design, send it to the machine, find the prototyper, and start the fabrication process. Then, you wait. That's an awful name. It doesn't even make sense, but yes, they're pretty cool. They both stand to benefit from Nico's death. That sounds like motive to me. Wait, could this be what Ellie and Mason are up to? Do you believe him? He did seem a little overqualified for a security guard. Don't think that's what she meant. What did you mean? Think carefully about what he said. There could be clues. Do you think he was paranoid? Or did he know someone was actually after him? Get the evidence out of there and call us right back, okay? Do you mean Victor killed Nico? Does he know you know? Not a bad idea. I bet the key to cracking the case is in that lab. Or at least part of it. Have you told anyone? Play it cool. Since we're way out here, you might have to rely on someone on site. Choose wisely. Snowed in with a killer? This is not good. Nancy Drew leaving an unsolved case? Unlikely. Yeah, why? I recommend you use tape. Last time I didn't, someone had an allergy attack and sneezed away an hour's worth of work. It was both gross and infuriating. Joe. Sorry, I guess we have to go. Hmm. Might be time to investigate. See if anything's missing in Mason and Ellie's office. Or maybe something's been added. That's crazy! That's not a phrase. This is one of those moments where you could really use George. The killer. That might be more surprising than Ryan's innocence. Maybe she can help you out. There's a lot of money to be made with this work. But are they taking advantage of the situation? So, do you think corporate espionage? Either they're lying... Or they've got some strong outside motivation to put aside their differences. Interesting. That might come in handy. But Nancy, you can't tell anyone. I had to sort of bend the rules. Surprisingly, so does Gray. But we don't know what's in there. Nico has a file, but it's classified. There are some intelligence guys here who owe us a favor. We'll see if anyone's got a pass they're hiding. What's his story? I can't think of once. Says the loudest person I've ever met. Sometimes people are just quiet. Or he could be dodging your questions. He sounds a little... textbook. See if you can get a reaction out of him somehow. What's Mason like? Then keep a close eye on her. Don't forget, your safety is more important than solving the case. That's serious. But if she wasn't arrested, there must be some doubt. Yeah, and harvesting energy from space and the Earth itself. Wait, is that what Nico was working on? The flashy stuff is cool, Joe. But what really impresses me is how all of these seemingly crazy things he dreamed up are now being proven to be actually possible. That stuff is probably blown out of proportion. Well, his contributions to the scientific community? It might be a tie. I agree! I've always wanted to see one up close. Keep us up to date. We'll do everything we can to help. Joe! Probably because Nancy's got a very well-deserved reputation of being the best there is. And they stay in evidence until the case is closed, right? Why did he call you? Isn't this a job for the police? More importantly, tell us about you. It's sort of a long story, and we're still putting the pieces together. I wish we could be there to help. Isn't that a little on the dangerous side? <sighs> Joe. Sorry, Nancy. Please go ahead. Joe, there's already a word that means what you're trying to say. Not bad. Okay, we'll catch up with you later. Just recounting the time... So, how are you? How's Colorado? Just recounting the time... So, how are you? How's Colorado? Talk to you later. Bye. Goodbye, Nancy. Bye. Okay, that's it. Back to the office. Here we go. Basically, it conducts the electricity away from whatever is inside it, keeping you safe. What you're in right now is called a Faraday cage. Now, I need you to focus on what we are doing. It's very dangerous. Yes. It's been rewired since that night, 
it never should have been set up that way in the first place. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Get out of there. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mason's not very forgiving. <laughs> We have snowmobiles. Ryan and I will go for help. Find Gray. He'll help you with Victor until the police arrive. That's why he's here. It didn't make sense why he kept popping in. He knows you figured it out. Nico wanted to give it away. That I can live with. Victor wants to sell it. If anyone is going to sell my work, it's gonna be me. Don't use that tone. You have to understand, Mason and I put our lives into that work. It's easy to be generous when you've already got so much more than you need. The rest of us have lives to build. I'm of two minds. It's the right thing to do on one hand. You can't sell it. It doesn't work that way. Why? It's not all bad. I get to do my part in making the world a better place. That's a happy thought I can take to my pillow each night. I took out some big loans that my gram put up the farm for. Can't make the money I need back home in the sticks. Funny. Everyone always says the opposite. We weren't rich, and school wasn't cheap. But I was told to go and fulfill my potential. And I did. My gram used to say the two of us put a little extra spin on the world. Rachel was my best friend. And I'd give all I've got to go back to those days. What no one knew was, much as my mind loved the inside of a book, my heart loved nothing more than being with my family. Especially my cousin Rachel. I don't know. Growing up, everyone had these high expectations that I'd go out and make something big of myself. But that was a mouthful. Became Watson after a month or so. Shouldn't have called her a brat. I take it back. That little brat, Susie Watkins, started calling me elementary, my dear Watson, because I made the mistake of correcting Miss Heinz in front of the class one time. Kids used to call me Watson. All my life I was the brainy one. At home... At school, on the bus, in the library, in the corner store. Much as I'd like to say no. Of course, that was just a glitch. The video shows just one person entering the lab. Nico. What do you mean? Then it must just be an extra. Nope. I don't know. You're lucky you got out. Really lucky. We have a lot to coordinate right now. You'd be smart not to. He doesn't have patience for people stirring up the bottom of a river that's best kept still. You're wrong. We have to meet up to coordinate experiments once in a while. Now that is fortunate. If I had to deal with him puppy-dogging all around all the time, I'd never get anything done. Wish that weren't the truth, but it is. But Mason flashes that smug smile of his, and every rage center of my brain releases all of its hate Mason chemicals. Most times I find that glimmer of good, even in the meanest people. My gram raised me to look for the good in everyone, even those who do me harm. They're not great. I wouldn't say they're bad. I must have left it at home that night. I tried, but the phones were out. May not have much, but I got a little. Leave me alone, could ya? Look, it was a hard night for me. I'd like to keep it in my rear view. This isn't something I should talk to you about. They were persuasive. I don't know if they were going to force me back, and I really didn't want to find out. The police? Of course I did. I just meant, in general, I don't need another voice telling me what to do. It's my work. I need to keep it safe. Yes, I'm sure. I honestly don't know. Even if what happened to Nico never happened, Colorado never welcomed me with open arms. Between you and me, I'm looking to get out of here as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't call Colorado home. Home. That's true. Wars have been fought for far less. His work is so important, it can't be measured in money. It's pure power. Economic, political, military, and literal power beyond measure. Nico cracked it. A way to harvest the electricity that's already there all around us. Or, so I heard, I never saw his work. We're running out of power, and fast. Imagine the jolt when we all wake up together. Look around. Life isn't just life anymore. 
It's plugged in all the time. People live in this weird dream world of their own creation. Yes, more than once. Not was. Is, honey, would you ask anyone to explain why they hate Mason? He hated Mason. That, and he wanted to keep them from Mason. If you have to ask why I'd go out of my way to understand how someone like Nico thought, then you obviously don't realize what a big deal he is. I'm not supposed to have them, but I see you get that. Stay out of my things, hun. You don't know what you're messing with. How did you find those? No, trust me, I've tried. I'm not great at remembering to bring my card, and Gray does not like letting me in. Gray? I think that's it. Don't think so, really. At least I hope that's how it was. Not a hard time, not exactly. It was like he was plugged into a different current than the rest of us. People were to be studied and observed, but that was all he wanted. You did good, kid. This is me looking the other way. It's a limited time offer. You know, he's not here. Make you a deal. He's been lording his high score aggregation over me. Take him down, and I'll let you poke around. Getting his comeuppance. I heard about what happened. I honestly don't know. For a genius, he really is dumb sometimes. What it comes down to is, I'm 20%. Mason, maybe 60. Nico was 100% a scientist. He's not human. Not that he's... It's hard to explain. Like if a computer had legs and a sweater, it'd be Mason. When he makes a sandwich, he alphabetizes the ingredients. In all of the ways, I'm organized in the way I think, but I... Okay, take Mason, for example. He lives his life the way I work. He was too much of a scientist. No, it's not like that. I just don't think he needed people. Or if he did, then he hid it well. I don't know if he had friends. No, but it wasn't for lack of trying. I never understood him. But if he was even a fraction as smart as his work leads me to believe, why would he do something so dangerous? She said Nico insisted. Yes. Wiring the secondary and primary coils together is a good way to get yourself killed. Or someone else. You keep it zipped. Like this. And as a good southern girl... I know if you don't have anything good to say, I'm a night alley. In a way, Mason's station is over there. He's in during the day. Some days feels like decades. I don't actually know. Two years? Maybe a bit less. In plain terms, I'm a research scientist. Ready? And we're not exactly up to giving tours, considering. Victor wanted me to show you the coil. I guess you could say you're lucky. Most people never get to see the inside of the lab. Ellie. Oh, yeah. Nancy, right? What brings you here? School? Glad you made it through that lock-in. That could have been real, real bad. You don't want to be messing with his stuff. Hope you brought a good book and some candles. Sounds like we are getting snowed in. What now? Yes. Need something else? Forget something? Hello. Oh, Nancy? What's up? Hi. Can I help you? What are you doing? Stop that! Vince, see if you can crawl out of the air ducts. Stay calm! Look for a way out! Look around, there should be some oxygen tanks. I'm locked in the booth! I can't get over there to help! Me too! Nancy? Is that you? Are you okay? What's up? If you're under 50, why are you leaving me a message instead of a text? Oldsters, do what you gotta do. Hanging up. See ya! Bye. Okay. Valid point. Be careful. I'll hang up and do what I can from my end. Good luck. And come on, how many times have you not died? I'm not a sociopath. I just have a lot of appreciation for closure. I'm a sucker for an action-packed ending. Now go out there and don't die. I need this grade. Great. He won't pick up his phone. Just kidding. And Ned's here. I don't know if we're buddies like that. I mean, I do know, and we're not. Solve this case on the quick, please, because I do not want to write a billion-page paper, thank you. Then find more. 
Is this one of those things where you're talking to me because you're worried about blowing your cover, so you're not asking them? Does that mean one of them did it? Where? Maybe not the safest place to keep it, in your case? Yeah. Hey, you know, you should volunteer at one of those neurological study places, because you have been knocked out a lot, my friend. That is the least shocking thing ever. You do realize that, right? I can't help you there. Whoever did this was very calculating. It's sort of too bad that the rest of your suspects are scientists. Yes, there's this thing called tape. It's sticky. You'll like it. It lives in a little house that looks like an upside-down comma with tiny little teeth. Sometimes it's like you live on Mars. The best show on television. Ever? And you've never heard of it? Nancy, he was a linebacker and now he's a crime tracker. Ring a bell? Officer Downs? Anything? No. It's just that I'm bored and I'm completely out of episodes of TDPD. That is a genuine compliment. Okay. I'm working on tracking down the photographers, but it could take weeks. For now, it looks like Ryan's in the clear. Yes, that was the finale I was building to and was excited to get to say out loud that you interrupted. By itself, nothing. But two, count them. Two different photographers submitted photos of Ryan standing near a visible clock. The ceremony was a national story, so a bunch of freelancers put their shots up for sale. There was nothing in the crime database, but I had a hunch. I went to the journalism lab and used their photographer database. She told the police that she won an award. That was her alibi, but it left her with enough time to sneak back in. It wasn't airtight. Close, but not perfect. Nancy, Ryan's alibi stands up. She couldn't have killed Nico. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I thought you said, should I let you get back to what you were doing? Yes. I am frankly surprised it took you this long to figure it out. Because I assumed it would be hilarious. But don't lecture me or anything, because my dad already did, and that totally counts. Ryan must be good with computers, because that was a while back. No, no. I did post it online, like a whole bunch. I'll see what I can find. All I've got is the database. Don't expect any miracles. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Figure this out. Unless there's something big I'm missing. Exactly. Someone had to be in the lab with Nico. Otherwise, he'd still be here today. From what I gathered, something didn't add up with the video and the timeline. And you called me? That's a bad sign. Something melty? Whatever you can find. I mean, it doesn't need to look like a finger turns out. It can be flat. It just has to have actual ridges. Find a way to etch the print. Then, you just find a medium to transfer the print to. It was actually kind of cool. So, you need to find a fingerprint. And then, is there some sort of etcher in the lab? I mean, there probably is. Yes, I was, Nancy Drew. Isn't learning great? Anyway, I will help you out of the goodness of my heart. Give me some time. Actually, I disagree. Today, we covered negotiation tactics. Did you know that you cannot negotiate with crazy? You have to just give crazy what it wants and not threaten its grade. Ever. Nancy, I will spite fail this class. <sighs> Fine. But just so we're clear, I really don't want to. I don't know. Excuse me for not being some total creeper who knows how to crank out the fake body parts. To be perfectly open about my shot in Florida, I actually hope it's very difficult. But if you can find the fingerprint you need, then you can science up a reverse, sort of. I mean, you know. And then, aren't you surrounded by science? Just make a finger. Actually, wait. Come to think of it, it was good advice. And you doubted me. No problem. Yes, see if there are any spare fingers lying around. If not, then just give up. Fingerprint or retinal scan? Yeah, in my experience, no one buys that line. Say what now? I admire the directness. Well, good. I was hoping this paper would be short. What's it say? My prof always says there's no place for feelings in a murder investigation. There's only alibi, evidence, and motive. And right now... Ryan's coming in as a heavy favorite. They're usually scared. They've convinced themselves there's no other way out of whatever mess they've gotten themselves into. 
The truth is, there isn't a type. Most killers aren't like what you see on television. They're not like mustache twirly or anything. But usually it means that they're missing a piece or two of their case, and they're just waiting for the suspect to slip up. It can be. The police have to be fairly certain before they can charge her. Okay. Do me a favor. Stop having everyone always ask me about you. I get that you're so amazing or whatever, but I don't need to be reminded every five seconds. I was surprised the guy hired you. Your other references must have canceled me out. Yeah. But remember, I have a loophole. You don't get to be mad. Deeply ingrained narcissism, gross incompetence, chronic wrongness, rushes to judgment. It sounds bad when I say it to you. <laughs> Verbatim. <clears throat> Um, <laughs> look, the truth is, some pejorative terms may have been bandied about. It's just boilerplate. I mean, who remembers these things? The same thing I always say when people ask about you. Well, chop chop, girl detective! I got me a deadline! That's almost interesting. Did you find the full video yet? They've got a lot of gadgets there. Maybe there's something that can... analyze it? Problem solved. You're welcome. Get a handle on things, would ya? I've already titled my report, Oakum's Razor at Work. I like that title. It seems A-worthy. So stop having these kinds of troubles. The first thing you learn in criminology is that most cases are easy. The person who looks guilty usually is. The kind of question you ask someone who is kicking it with killers. Just spitballing here. But do you think you could take her in a fair fight? Yeah, that's the detective part. Not in my wheelhouse. But the number one thing you need to do is to make sure that you've got the original video feed. If you don't, analyzing the data file isn't going to do you much good. It's getting harder and harder to tell. Oh yeah, all the time. That you watch it? Consider it done. I'll text you the results. Great. Call when you need help and I'll do what I can. Just don't call me when I'm busy. I've got permission to use our criminal database. In fact, I already read up on the case. So I help you, you help me collect data for my paper, and balance is restored to the universe. I made a bargain with my prof. If I can help an actual murder investigation, I'll get credit. Because apparently it still counts as plagiarism if you pay someone to write your paper. I mean, is capitalism dead? Because that's what it seems like. It cannot be more so. I come bearing apologies. I want to help you, Nancy Drew. I want to be your girl on the inside of the exciting world of criminology. What do I want? This is about what you want, Nancy Drew. Hey there, champ. How's my favorite buddy? Oh, a non-specific promise with the word someday. Sounds too tempting to ignore. Yet, here I go. <sighs> Did you forget that I don't like you? Was it? By the way, don't make a habit of it. Okay? Bye. Well, I told him the truth. Some friend of my dad's called me for a reference for you. Hey there, Nancy Drew. Hey, hey. What's up? Are you in Colorado by any chance? Hey there, Nancy Drew. Dare to play. Goodbye, Nancy Drew. Murder investigations don't just go away. Someone had to take the fall, Nancy. You were supposed to give someone a push. I guess I should be congratulating you for being so sharp. It really is a shame I have to kill you instead. That should have sealed the deal, but you couldn't leave it alone. Then I handed you Ellie and Mason, handed them to you on a big silver platter that said, Look how guilty these two are! But no, you had to screw that up. That friend of yours sold you short. That's why you're here. You were supposed to drum up enough evidence to get Ryan put away. You see, Nancy, I knew Nico had something hidden in here. I just couldn't find it. Which is why I asked you to stay out. Stay out of the lab. That was the one thing I asked you to do, and you couldn't. You're awake. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Love, Nancy. Can't wait to see you. The world fondly remembers those who always give and soon forgets those who only take.
The fact that Niko Jovic's name will be known the world over, while Victor's won't, again proves what I always believed. I'd like to think he'd be very proud to see the team working hard to prepare his work for public release. More than anything, Nico wanted his work to make the world a better place. She decided to stay with the team during the next research phase, on the condition that she can personally address all safety issues before each experiment. It wasn't until Ryan knew exactly what happened to Nico that she could begin to move on from what happened that night. Although she had been exonerated, he took the lead on finishing Nico's work and opening the majority of the research up to the public. Some of the work he plans to destroy, as he promised. For the first time since his breakdown, he decided to fully re-enter the world of science. Finding out what had happened to his best friend changed Gray almost immediately. She's not sure what her next endeavor will be, but she's excited to make that decision alongside her family. She agreed to stay on until the first publication is completed. After that, she plans on doing whatever it takes to get back home. Ellie was surprised at first to hear that Mason wanted her to assist with finishing up Nico's work. Mason, on the other hand, was fielding date requests from viewers who clearly have a profound affinity for the lost art of arguing. Within two hours, Gray was fielding calls from philanthropic backers wishing to fund their new endeavor. A video of the argument titled Epic Dork Fight was posted online and went viral almost immediately. Gray promised all due credit would remain with Mason and Ellie, provided they assist him in finishing Nico's work. After a heated public argument that sent the technology of tomorrow bloggers into a frenzy, the two reached an agreement. Gray spent weeks chasing him down until he finally caught him trying to make a sale at the Technology of Tomorrow conference. Mason snuck back into the lab the night after Victor's arrest and made off with a drive containing years of his and Nico's research. I can hardly blame them. It was quickly proven they had no idea about Victor's involvement in Nico's death. Regardless, they decided to cut funding for the lab immediately. The potential buyers Victor had been courting came forward immediately. But I doubt there will be much to be found. Due to his attempts to subvert justice, he's been denied bail until his trial. Word is he's willing to strike a plea deal for leniency. Victor was rushed to the hospital and then to a courthouse where he was charged with the murder of Nico Jovic. Dear Hannah,